Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsot, Pray for us. Please all stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. Redeem me, O Lord, and have mercy on me. My foot stands on level ground. I will bless the Lord in the assembly. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, we come in this Eucharistic celebration acknowledging the mercy of God our own need for mercy and also our ability to share this mercy to others and so as we begin this celebration let us first humbly acknowledge in front of our lord our own sinfulness and ask him for his mercy and strength Have mercy on us, O Lord. For we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. And grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who have taught us to chasten our bodies for the healing of our souls, enable us, we pray, to abstain from all sins and strengthen our hearts to carry out your loving commands. 
through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Daniel. Lord, great and awesome God, you who keep your merciful covenant toward those who love you and observe your commandments. We have sinned, been wicked, and done evil. We have rebelled and departed from your commandments and your laws. We have not obeyed your servants, the prophets, who spoke in your name to our kings, our princes, our fathers, and all the people of the land. Justice, O Lord, is on your side. We are shamefaced even to this day. We, the men of Judah, the residents of Jerusalem, and all Israel, near and far, in all the countries to which you have scattered them because of their treachery toward you. O Lord, we are shamefaced like our kings, our princes, our fathers, for having sinned against you. But yours, O Lord, our God, are compassion and forgiveness. Yet we rebelled against you and paid no heed to your command, O Lord, our God. To live by the law you gave us through your servants, the prophets. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, do not deal with us according to our sins. Lord, do not deal with us according to our sins. Remember, remember not against us the iniquities of the past. May your compassion quickly come to us, for we are brought very low. Lord, do not deal with us according to our sins. Help us, O God, our Savior, because of the glory of your name. Deliver us and pardon our sins for your name's sake. Lord, do not deal with us according to our sins. Let the prisoners sighing come before you. With your great power, free those doomed to death. Then we, your people, and the sheep of your pasture will give thanks to you forever. Through all generations, we will declare your praise. Lord, do not deal with us according to our sins. Please stand. Salita mo, Cristo mahal, Espiritu bumubuhay, nagtuturot mga kakakay, siya nagkalais na kapal, ang langit The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Be merciful, just as your Father is merciful. Stop judging and you will not be judged. Stop condemning, and you will not be condemned. Forgive, and you will be forgiven. Give, and gifts will be given to you. A good measure, packed together, shaken down, and overflowing will be poured into your lap. For the measure with which you measure, will in return be measured out to you. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. 
Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. We have seen in our gospel passage today the connection always between being forgiven and being able to forgive of receiving from God and being able to give of being forgiven by God of being able to receive the mercy of God and therefore being able to share the mercy parang lagi pong konektado yan ang patawarin ka at ikaw naman ang magpatawad ang kaawaan ka at ikaw rin naman ay maawa sa iba my dear brothers and sisters this is intimately connected because as Pope Francis would always say if you do not acknowledge that you need the mercy of God, then you will not be able to share this mercy with others. If you do not acknowledge that you are a sinner in need of forgiveness, then you will not in turn be able to forgive others. That is why our first reading today from the book of the prophet Daniel is a very beautiful prayer asking God for forgiveness. Asking God to forgive the sin of Israel because we have rebelled according to the prophet. We have been unfaithful to you. We have not followed your laws and your commands. If you notice, my dear brothers and sisters, at the beginning of every Mass, what do we do first? We ask for forgiveness. We ask for mercy. This is like saying to God, all of us here are in need of your mercy. And when we recognize that we are in need of mercy, then we will be able also to share this mercy to others. But if we start to say to ourselves that, no, I am righteous, I am good, I do not need the mercy of God. If you start saying that, then you will not also be able to forgive others because the standard will be myself. You need to be good as I am good. You now become a self-righteous person. And during this Lenten season, it is a good experience to ask for forgiveness. Kahit sino ka man, even if you are the highest person in your office, even if you are the highest person in your community, there is a wisdom in the experience of asking for forgiveness, of experiencing the forgiveness of God. Because only if you experience that you are forgiven, it is only then that you will be able to forgive. When you experience that God has given you something, recognizing that all we have comes from Him, then that is the only way when we can also give. Kapag nakita natin na ang lahat ng meron tayo ay galing sa Diyos, dun lang tayo makakapagbigay. Dahil alam natin, hindi galing sa atin ito. Pero kapag inisip natin, ah, lahat ito akin, kagagawan ko ito, 
meron ako nito dahil sa galing ko. Kapag inisip mo na sa'yo lahat yan, hinding hindi ka makakapagbigay at makakapagbahagi. Today, my dear brothers and sisters, we are joined by uh, the community of the Daughters of the Virgin Mary Immaculate. And we are very happy to see you here, sisters, because uh, they are celebrating this Mass with us for their 167th founding anniversary. So, palakpakan po muna natin ang mga sisters na nandito. Thank you for uh, joining us. And they said they have been joining in our online Mass since March last year. No? Mag-iisang taon na ang ating online Mass. And I don't, I'm not sure if this is the first time that you have come here or celebrated Mass. But we are very happy to celebrate this milestone. Imagine 167 years of your congregation, of your uh, uh, community, of the congregation. But let me also warn you, sisters, as you celebrate your 167th anniversary, before you say that the 167 years are all our work, our success. Before you say that, first, God reminds us, recognize first, that we are also in need of mercy. That in those 167 years, it is only possible that we have become successful in mission not only because of my talent, of my goodness, but because God is merciful. And when you recognize that, that is the only way when you can give more to your mission of educating, of teaching young people. Because if you start to think that the 167 years is all because of you, then you will not be able say, to say yes to mission. But in these 167 years, we say to the Lord, we are also sinners. We are also in need of mercy. All of these 167 years is your gift. And we are only here to give that gift. My dear brothers and sisters, as we celebrate this Mass, let us recognize in front of God that all of us are in need of His gifts, of His mercy. And only in recognizing that what we have are what we have received from God, then we will be able to share, to give, and say yes to the mission of Jesus. Amen. Please stand. Let us now pray to God who is kind and merciful, who heals and pardons all our sins. For every petition, let us say, Lord of mercy, let your love flow on us. Lord of mercy, let your love flow on us. That the church may fulfill her ministry of healing and forgiveness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord of, mercy, of mercy, let, let your, your love, love flow, flow on, on us. us. That government officials may show care and concern for the poor and the marginalized. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord of, of mercy, mercy, let, let your, your love flow, flow on, on us. us. That we may be able to see our own faults and refrain from passing judgment on the failures of others. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord of, of mercy, mercy let, let your, your love flow on us. That the sick, the lonely, and the handicapped may find strength and healing. Let us pray to the Lord. 
Lord of mercy, let, let your love flow on us. That our dear departed relatives and friends may find peace and joy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord of mercy, mercy let, let your love flow on us. Merciful Father, these prayers and intentions we bring before you express our needs and our hopes. We ask all of these through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Accept in your goodness these our prayers, O Lord, and set free from worldly attractions those you allow to serve the heavenly mysteries. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you have given your children a sacred time for the renewing and purifying of their hearts, that freed from disordered affections, they may so deal with the things of this passing world as to hold rather to the things that eternally endure. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, hosts heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory. glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in, in the, the highest. Blessed, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Broderick, our administrator, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son. Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our, Our Father, Father, who art, who art in, in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. Thy, name. thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy, thy will, will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread, bread and, forgive and forgive us our, our trespasses, trespasses as, as we forgive, forgive those who trespass, trespass against, against us. And lead us not into temptation, temptation but deliver us from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not, not worthy that, that you should, should enter under, under my roof, but, but only say the word, and, and my soul, soul shall be healed. Be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. May this communion, O Lord, cleanse us of wrongdoing and make us heirs to the joy of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Confirm the hearts of your faithful, O Lord, we pray, and strengthen them by the power of your grace, that they may be constant in making supplication to you and in their sincere love for one another. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Thank you.